Hi folks, Sonia Ash here. Today I want to show you how to use our snowflake overlays. I want to show you how to use um, two different types of overlays. One are PNG files, which have transparency, so we'll apply those one way. And the other are JPEG files, um, which don't have any transparency, and we'll show you how to add those to your photos. So let's get started. Here's our little baby boy um, outside in the snow. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I've got some files open here. I'm going to go to, um, this is our snow number five. Um, this is from our snow overlay set. It's a pretty fine snow, so you almost can't even see it here. But um, let's make sure we have our move tool selected. We're going to stamp down here, and we're going to drag it up to our photo overlay. Bring it down to the middle of the canvas and let go. And then you can see there's our snow. Now it's it's a pretty realistic looking snow. So what you want to do is just go ahead and move it around on your image where you think it looks good. And I think that's pretty good right there. Now what I like to do is you know play around with the opacity. I think this is um, a little dark, um, a little too bright, I should say. So I'm going to bring the opacity down to about let's bring it down to about 50%. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now, I would like to combine this with another overlay from that same set, and this is a Snow uh, 1 overlay, and you can see there's some, you know, bigger sort of snow blobs in here. We're going to do the same thing. Our Move tool is selected, so let's click down in the middle. Let's drag it over to our Photo tab, bring it down to the middle of your canvas, and let it drop. <clears throat> now, you can see from this that this is really meant to be more of like, you know, the snow um, falling on your lens. Um, so go ahead and move that around a little bit to where it sort of suits your taste. I think that's pretty good right there. And again, I think I might reduce that opacity, maybe 75%. And again, this is all to taste. So you can play around with the layer opacities. And that's basically how you, you'll use these. And these were the PNG files that had transparency. Now let's <clears throat> remove those from this photo. And now I'll show you how to use the JPEG. So I'll go over here to our Snowflake Bokeh overlay set. Now you can see this is over black. So same thing applies. You have your move tool, grab in the middle, drag it up to your photo tab, come over here and let it drop. Now, the difference with JPEGs is we're going to come over here, we're going to change our layer mode to screen. And what that will do is it will remove all the black. And we'll come in here and sort of move this around to taste. And you can see these are, you know, more stylized snowflakes. So, and there is some, um, you know, varying um, opacity in the snowflakes. So I think I'd leave this at 100% because... It's already got a little variation in there. But just sort of move that around to taste where you think you like it. And that's basically it. Um, the other thing you can do if these snowflakes are, say, too big, we can go in and we can scale them down. So we can go up to Image, um, I'm sorry, Edit, Transform, Scale. Okay. And what you'll see. This is a pretty large file, so you've got some room to scale that down. So what you want to do is make sure that you're scaling proportionally so that we don't distort our snowflakes. So you'll hold down your shift key while you're grabbing any one of these four corners here. Okay? So we'll drag that down to keep them proportional. And then once you like it, you can hit enter on your keyboard. And that will set your scale. And then, once again, you can move it around to taste. And that's basically it. That's how you use our snowflake overlays. Mm -hmm.